Hi and welcome to the MechWare 2 Comparison Guide. Today I would like to give a demonstration of the differences between MechWarrior 2 Titanium and MechWarrior 2 DOS. In general, it could be said that MechWarrior 2 Titanium has gotten a bad rap from the very beginning. Activision had originally promised to release a game with all the same features of the original and then some. But, unfortunately, as time progressed, they realized that they didn't actually have the budget to do this. So they had to slash some features including wireframe and they didn't do very much optimization in frame rates and thus many people had to upgrade their systems which caused a lot of complaints. However, despite this, uh, the newcomers to the game in 1998 actually mostly enjoyed the game but the diehard fans of course couldn't stand it since it had less than the original. So without further delay, let's take a look at the differences in titanium. As you can see, the medium pulse laser is the primary difference here. The purpose here of our video is to actually compare two identical mechs in a speedrun environment. Noting the damage difference, the mech lab, and the final speed result. So I'm going to customize a mech with the absolute bare minimum to get through blade splint in this quickest amount of time. I'm going to get a 280XL engine. And I'm going to remove all the heat sinks. Well, I can't. I'm stuck with one. It, won't, it stays in the engine and it won't remove it. So I'm going to keep that. Put a couple jets and remove all the armor. Put a medium pulse laser in the place of everything. Finally, in the equipment, I'm going to make sure I have a mask. Yep, I do. Now, in the criticals here, it doesn't matter so much where I put this, it, as long as I get in the general locations, there should be no problem when I do the comparison. I'll just try to get as close as possible. Is the ferrofibrous is not going to be in the identical spot. There's just no way unless I pay attention to every single spot. Now that the customization is pretty much finished off, let's do a quick speed run the titanium and see what happens. I'm gonna have a picture in picture MechWarrior 2 DOS Reactor in the top online. right. Sensors online. Weapons so that online. we can see a little bit All of the uh, progress as we go. I'll do a little bit of commentary here and there, but there's not much to say really. Local time is as you can see, wireframe would probably be really handy coming up right now because you could see farther in wireframe than you can actually see without it. Group fire engaged. Now notice, watch where I'm firing. See how long it takes in the top right. Oh, no, titanium's done. Inspected. Still firing in the power DOS. Power converter is active. Primary objective: destroy power converter. Successful. That's a big difference in time. Beyond inspection radius. Satellite link established. Hmm, that's interesting. Take a look at the difference between the map views, too. There's no radar, actually, as far as the um, lines that show which direction you're pointing. Nav, Del and there 
Where's the time? Still going on DOS. Final time for titanium, 139 on hard. Alright, now let's repeat the process for MechWarrior 2 DOS and make a mech. So, again, the 280XL engine. Remove all the heat sinks. Well, that's already done, so I gotta add one in this case since I already had zero. Add the two jets. Delete all the armor. Put the medium pulse laser in. And fix the little differences here and there. Now let's get to the signing of the criticals. Well, it's not going to be identical, but I'm going to get as close as I can. Again, there's not so much to say at this point. You've already seen this, so I'm not going to comment on the same thing twice. So, in our final amount of time that we have left, what can we say we've actually learned from all this? Well, to me, the most obvious and glaring difference is that MechWarrior 2 DOS does appear to be a little bit more difficult than Titanium. In that respect, I question whether we've actually tapped the surface of how difficult DOS is over Titanium. For if I actually engaged the mechs, I think the time difference between the two games would have been significantly more different than a few 10 seconds or so. We've also seen that the uh, satellite view has less on the titanium side. I mean, it doesn't show the roads and it doesn't show the orientation. Well, that's not really that big of a deal. In the end, I think you guys can come up with your own conclusions on all this. Everyone's got their own favorite. Mine personally, I am biased towards MechWarrior 2 DOS. There's no question there. With that, thank you very much for watching. If anyone has any questions about how to set up MechWarrior 2 DOS or MechWarrior 295, please come on over to mech2.org or if you want to play online we have netmech which is still free and available in our download section we also have an IRC community going on which you can find information about that in our forums thank you again